Hi, I'm Jonathan Weiner. I'm a senior vice president at APCO Worldwide, and I've been dealing with information security issues and how you manage the problems associated when they go down, uh, when there's a breach or when there's a shutdown of access. Going back for 20 years when I was working at the State Department, dealing with these issues from perspective of how the United States and the European Union could develop the same rules uh, for dealing with information when uh, there's an unauthorized intrusion or something else goes uh, uh, severely wrong. So, your company, you've got a massive amount of your most important customer and business data located uh, in cloud computing land. It's not under your control. The lawyers have worked out whatever contractual uh, requirements uh, they can for indemnification, allocation of risk, and all that stuff, but you've still got a massive problem if your data winds up getting compromised or your customers can't get access to it or your employees can't get access to it. So how do you deal with this problem from the communications perspective? You already dealt with it from a legal perspective. What you can do from a communications perspective is ahead of the risks, you can develop a plan, a protocol for what you're going to do in case there's a problem. If you then do have a problem, you've already got preset a bunch of things. You've got preset some potential messages of things you can say. You've already decided how you're going to communicate, what channels uh, you're going to use to communicate. Are you going to send individual emails to each of your individual customers? What are you going to say to your own employees? What are you going to say to your other service providers? Uh, what are you going to say to the media? Uh, do you have different messages uh, in different places or one message for the entire world? Do you say it in only one language? Or do you have to get it up very, very quickly in a number of languages? You can pre-work a lot of that and then further tailor it based on your actual incident. You can also begin to think about ahead of time uh, steps that you'll take then to protect your reputation, uh, to protect your customers, and to minimize the damage and uh, uh, deal with the incident in a way actually that can enhance your company's brand and image as opposed to damage or destroy it. If you don't do that, what can wind up happening, and what we've seen happen recently, is people can say, whoa, my information is not safe. I can't be with this company. And uh, for, for big companies that have got massive amounts of data um, on clouds, effectively online or on servers outside their control. That's a pretty kind of bet the company issue, which is why companies are going to absolutely need to start planning in this territory.